New York is in the media spotlight, but not for the reasons you'd expect. Now to the growing migrant crisis. This issue will destroy New York City. Reason levels of criminal activity. Dive deep with us into the migrant crisis. Robot police on patrol, shuttered stores, and the big question, is it safe to visit? You'd wanna miss it. The migrant situation in New York has been one of the most controversial topics in the last six months in the city. Let's talk about some basics for those who aren't too familiar. Since April, 2022, more than 116,000 migrants have arrived in New York. Most came from the US-Mexico border, fleeing hardships in their home countries and seeking asylum. Many are not yet eligible to work in the US due to asylum rules which require migrants to wait about six months for a work permit. More than 60,000 of them remain in the city shelter system and if migration continues at its current pace, the city is on track to spend 12 billion dollars over the next three fiscal years. And the big question is why is New York so popular? Some experts believe migrants are choosing New York City after learning about the city's right to shelter mandate. New York City has a unique legal obligation to find placement for asylum seekers under a consent decree which took effect in the 80s after a court ordered the city to provide temporary housing to any man who asked for it. Now, this right to shelter has been challenged recently by Mayor Eric Adams and even the governor, Kathy Hochul. Last week, Mayor Adams asked a court to let the city pause the protocol enacted in the early 80s that requires the city to provide shelter to anyone who requests it. Last week, the Legal Aid Society and Coalition for the Homeless predicted that Adams' effort to suspend right to shelter would result in hundreds of people seeking shelter being turned away, forcing them to live in the streets just as the weather is cooling and winter is just a few weeks away. New York has avoided a lot of the really widespread encampments that you do tend to see on the West Coast due to this right to shelter. No other US city has anything like this. No updates yet from judges, but this decision of what they're gonna do about right to shelter is going to have a huge impact on New York. Now, if you're a tourist in New York, how does this directly affect you? Well, if you order Uber Eats, a newly arrived migrant may be delivering your Shake Shack burger. There is a whole economy right now of illegal mopeds being rented and bogus delivery app logins all also being sold. According to the New York Times, which tells the story of one man desperate to pay back the large debts he incurred in bringing his wife and three children to the US, rents a moped with helmet lock and bag, but no license plate for $400 a week for the privilege of using an Uber Eats profile under the name Jessica. He pays a weekly cut of $150 to a Venezuelan woman. Now, the illegal mopeds have become a serious issue in New York. Any pedestrian will tell you that many drivers are not obeying traffic laws. There's a reason a lot of those food deliveries are coming in record time. From my own experience, I have seen people on mopeds driving extremely recklessly. Now, I don't know who all these drivers are, but even on the sidewalks, walking with a stroller, I've seen it before, and it is something the city definitely needs to address before accidents occur and people get hurt. As a tourist, that actually is something I would warn you about being vigilant about. People on mopeds driving recklessly in all directions. Now, if you walk by the Roosevelt Hotel in Midtown, you will see a ton of mopeds parked without license plates. And the police have just started to crack down on this and it's been contentious. Following complaints from the community, the New York City Police Department began cracking down on illegal mopeds and so far police have hit at least four migrant shelters citywide with raids according to the report. Two of the raids resulted in sidewalk brawls and arrests, reports the NYDN, and most recently on Thursday, six men were apprehended after a scuffle with police at a Brooklyn migrant shelter. According to NYPD data, there have been 8,206 seizures compared to 3,842 during the same time frame 
in 2022. Something that I have witnessed myself even here in Brooklyn is walking on some of the main streets. I have seen a migrant family holding up a sign saying, we need money, we can't get a job, and it is absolutely heartbreaking. Or if you are taking the subway, you may see a migrant mother with a small child selling candy. This is very visible right now. So even as a tourist, you're likely to come face to face with the migrant crisis. This is a very heated topic in New York. The city is facing challenges that it's never had before. And Mayor Eric Adams just took some drastic measures. Coming to New York doesn't mean you're going to stay in a five-star hotel. Uh, it, it doesn't mean that the mere fact you come here, you automatically are going to be allowed to work. Mayor Adams left last Wednesday on a four-day trip to Central America where he stopped in Mexico, Ecuador, Colombia, and the dangerous jungle region known as the Darien Gap, which stretches along the Panama-Colombia border. His goal was to spread the message that New York City is at capacity and convince migrants to pick other destinations in the US. This is gonna be a huge issue in the upcoming election cycles on the city, state, and federal levels. The city is being stretched thin. Only time will tell how this all plays out. Sticking to the topic of Mayor Adams, last month, he took the city's police force to the future. I've gone a long way from being a transit cop to being next to a robot. The robot will begin its pilot on Friday night and spend two weeks mapping the station at Times Square. It will be accompanied by a human officer from midnight to 6 a.m. to introduce K-5 to the public. Once the pilot is complete, the robot is expected to patrol the station's mezzanine level, but not the platforms, becoming a mobile camera that strap hangers could use to call for help. This is below minimum wage, Mr. Adams said. No bathroom breaks, no meal breaks. Local New Yorkers aren't that impressed yet. They made it 400 pounds, but some teenagers are still gonna find a way to tip it over. How long until it's covered in bad graffiti. I'm confident he'll retire in three months with benefits. And my favorite, if you get arrested by this thing, you deserve to be in jail. I'm gonna keep my eyes open for this robot cop the next time I'm at the Times Square station, but I don't know if it's deterring crime just yet. Speaking of it, well, just how bad is crime right now? No surprise, this isn't getting much attention on the media because it's mostly been positive. Crime in 2023 compared to 2022 is down in almost every category. Shootings are down 28%, robberies are down 5%. Now, petite larceny, which is where shoplifting typically falls, is down 4% for the year, but I know a lot of this isn't even reported because many big chain businesses don't even allow employees to risk confronting shoplifters in action. But Target just took a bold step and closed a Harlem location that was theft-ridden. The big box retailer, which opened the East Harlem location, a great fanfare in 2010 as a revitalization of the neighborhood, announced it will close close all nine stores on October 21st. We cannot continue operating these stores because theft and organized retail crime are threatening the safety of our team and guests and contributing to unsustainable business performance. Shoplifting has been a serious problem, not just in New York, but in many American cities since the pandemic. Personally, when I'm at CVS, I have to press a button right now to get a $5 tube of toothpaste. It's gotten so bad. And I feel awful for those residents up in Harlem losing that store. The city definitely needs to do a better job cracking down on shoplifting or who knows how many more stores we're gonna lose. Moving on to some slightly more positive news, with the cost of everything up so much, Manhattan rental prices have actually cooled from their summer peak, but not by much. The median price to rent an apartment in the city dropped to $4,350 a month, a $50 decline from the record high of $4,400 in July and August. I think that price drop only temporary. Renting in Manhattan is just gonna continue to be unaffordable for most people. With all of the problems that New York is facing right now, is it still safe to visit? And my answer hasn't changed. I do still think it is safe to visit, but you've gotta be on guard. You've gotta use common sense precautions. There are still issues here with mental illness and drug addiction. So when you're out on the streets, be careful and stay safe. Another huge topic in New York right now is the essential ban of Airbnbs. And in this video, we break down the whole topic so you know what's going on 
head here next.